It's a pretty interesting one. You guys tuned in at the right time. What's the best way to eat? beauties welcome back to my channel and if you're new to this channel welcome so today's episode is definitely different than others I want to say this is my first makeup therapy Thursday okay you guys I love psychology and I love makeup and I figured I would combine the two so I'll be doing my makeup and answering questions that you guys may have about anything life whether it's about me the issue you're going through or anything like that i'm very well with communicating empathizing with others and just understanding someone else even if i haven't been in their shoes and overall i want to be able to give back to you guys and help you guys with that and the only way that can happen is you guys participating in my makeup therapy thursday make sure you guys like this video subscribe to this channel and follow me on my Instagrams because that's where you guys can write me those questions and on my YouTube. So do that now because you don't want to miss out on everything else. So if you guys are wondering why this look looked the way that it does, for one, I actually had this look on earlier when I went to work and I had to come home and wipe it off and reapply. Mainly my eyes. I redid my eyes just for you guys. So if my makeup looked like it's been on for some hours, it has. And that's why it's glitter probably all on my face because when I was wiping it off, the glitter was falling. So let's get right into it. All right, you guys, let's get started. Question one, how do you stay so close with your family? I love y'all connection. For one, I live with my parents, my mom and my dad. So, being that I'm with them, like, all the time, I won't say all the time, because obviously I have other things to do with my life, but being that I live under the same roof with them, I see them quite a lot, you know? So, we've seen each other have our ups and downs as a family, you know, for me being a daughter, and then being my parents. Um, growing up, me and my mom didn't always have the best bond, but now it's just like me and her just have this wonderful like mother-daughter relationship. We used to have mother-daughter days where we would go out and go out to eat, probably go to the movie and just have a day where it's just me and her. Mostly because I have majority brothers and I'm her only daughter. So yeah, we would spend a lot of time together as mother daughter and for my dad I'm just his baby girl so I get that full sport treatment of just being daddy's baby girl yeah with my parents we have such a close bond I understand them way more than the rest of my siblings do and I'm just a favorite point blank period <laughs> and I just always talk to them no matter whether I'm having my ups or my downs I always talk to them and let them know what it is that I'm doing and what I want to do with my life. And it helps keep our bond together. So, yes, that's how I keep such a wonderful bond with my parents. Question number two. You and James always hang together and y'all seem so close. How do you all keep that? So, James is my brother. We're three years apart. And if you guys don't know who he is, I'll list his Instagram so you guys can go follow him and see what he's about. We're literally like twins, to be honest, for us to be three years apart. So we often just, we used to do a lot together because we're the two youngest. So I'm sorry, I went into the wrong shad shad. <laughs> um, yeah, so me and my brother, we used to, we do a lot of things together. Being that we were the two youngest, we did a lot of stuff together. So we would go to the youth fair together. We went to the same school for about one year every single time. We went to the same elementary, different middles, but we went to the same high school. 
We were in the band together for one year. We share all our secrets together. We know both our parents, obviously. So we used to always just gossip about them and stuff. Growing up, he used to get on my nerves a lot because that's what big brothers do for whatever odd reason in their life. But yeah, but as we got older and life just began to be life, we just developed a closer and closer relationship as brother and sister. Okie doke. Question number three. It's a pretty interesting one. You guys tuned in at the right time. What's the best way to eat? Ooh. So, the best way to do it, I wouldn't be able to tell you guys because I don't do it. Sorry. If you guys know the best way to do it, I guess leave it in the comments so that way somebody else who's reading it could just figure it out and probably, you know, test it out on me. <laughs> but no, I already don't know. I can't really answer that. So that's the answer. Question number four is what is your work regimen? So my work regimen would most likely consist of scheduling. Like, I love to organize, for sure. Like, I'm a huge organizer. If it isn't organized, I have a problem. I like to make sure I get things done in the best manner to get the best results in the quickest and shortest amount of time. So, yes, I schedule a lot. Um, where's my next brush? I schedule all my stuff out. I schedule my social media schedule. I schedule it out so I know how much time I'm gonna spend on Instagram every oh so few hours. I have that mapped out. So I'll know like, okay, I'll wake up and spend this amount of time on Instagram, socializing and networking. Because honestly, I was never a huge fan of spending all my time on Instagram. Um, I used to feel like it just used to be a waste of time. But it's another source of income, and that's what I'm all about. Multiple streams of income, baby. Um, yeah, so I decided to really go in depth with actually using my Instagram as a business and not just as a social media platform, but still being able to socialize with the people, uh, with, with you guys, my beauties. I literally scheduled out how much time I would spend on Instagram. I scheduled out how much time I would spend on um as far as what days I need to post, I look at my stats for Instagram. I look at my stats for my YouTube. I have my days of knowing what days I'm gonna calculate all my stats. So that way I can depict what um, changes probably occurred. Maybe one post got shared more than the other. Why is that, you know? So I love to just check in on my stats and make sure everything I'm doing is being done correctly. I schedule out all my social media so that when, when I'm working, you know, at my job or whatever, I can be able to fit my social media schedules and my work schedule all into like, you know, a doable schedule. And so that's my work regimen. Um, it goes into a little bit more of a detail for me, but that requires like a whole nother video for you guys. But trust me, one day I will do it because I want to give you guys the keys to success. That was just about all the questions that I received, but everything is about growth. And like my favorite, ultimate fave, J. Cole said, is beauty in the struggle, ugliness in the success. And that's fine if I only received four because the beauty in the struggle is watching yourself grow. That's the beauty. But I figure since I don't have any other questions, I would just want to tell you guys about me, about myself. My name is B-Love. The B in B-Love stands for Bianca. So it's Bianca Love. And yes, that's my real name. So my government <laughs> can't give you that. But Bianca Love is my real name. So yeah, and I decided to just use that because why create a whole new name when I could just use the one God gave me? Or the one that my parents gave me. In case you guys were wondering, where I live, I live in Miami. Ooh. Miami, Florida is where it's at. Born and raised, and I'm so ready to leave. My dreams are to move to California. I visited California, if you guys wanna check that out. 
I did do a vlog where I went to Las Vegas and Cali in the same trip. So definitely check that out. Yeah, I went to Cali and I just absolutely loved it. I just feel like that's where my people are and I feel like everybody has a place where they kind of belong. And just because you were born somewhere doesn't mean like that's where you belong. But my interest is psychology. I studied psychology for about three years. Honestly. And I absolutely loved it. I remember being in elementary wanting to do psychology and I just didn't fulfill it as like a main goal of mine. Because then I was just like, eh, you gotta go to school too long for it. Kind of vibes. But you know, in elementary, that's what I was just thinking about. I was already tired of school back then. <laughs> But as I got older, I decided to go to um, online school for it, and I took it for about three years. And when I say I learned so much, but what I really learned is that I knew so much without them. Ooh, <laughs> that's the real tea. It was stuff that they were teaching me that I already knew, and it wasn't like I learned it. It just was something that I already believed. It was something that was like common sense to me. And that's what I kind of look to psychology as, is like common sense for me. Yeah, I really enjoy the human mind. And a lot of my friends and my family know that from me. They know they can come to me whether it's about business, whether it's about family, whether it's about friendships, relationships. Even if it's about issues with myself, you know, they, I, I'd be like, listen, come to me about it. Because as an adult, I can either take you to what you're saying, but I can't get upset for you having an opinion, regardless. But yeah, psychology is a big thing for me. And I wanted a way to like be able to bring psychology and makeup together. And Makeup Therapy Thursdays was created. I wanted to be able to combine doing makeup and helping the world out. I believe that communication and understanding is so important. And I feel like a lot of the world doesn't see that as important as it is. And understand one another, you know? Stop being so forceful. Stop making it seem like people have to do what you want them to do. Stop always making life about you, okay? If somebody else chooses not to want to do something that you want them to do, you can't get upset that they don't want to do what you want them to do, you know? So I created Makeup Therapy Thursday, and what it would be is that you guys can write in, whether that's on YouTube or on Instagram, and you guys can just write in whether whatever whatever issues you guys are going through. I'm gonna be able to help you guys get through it. You know, whether that's young children. Honestly, I'm amazing with kids. I don't have any, by the way. I was a preschool tutor at one point, and those kids just absolutely loved me. I'm I'm really great with children, so. And I would love to help them out. I just wish I had a me in my life, you know? I just be real about stuff with them. And also, but I still also have fun with them. I listen to them. I often, I don't tell people what to do. I just give my opinion and why I believe what I believe. And that's just it. Just know if I say something, I'm gonna back it up with receipts, baby. Pure poo. The reason why I didn't mention nobody's name in those questions for today is because confidentiality is very important when somebody's sharing personal information with you. Then I am asking you guys to share information with me that you probably don't want other people to know about. I'm completely fine with not mentioning who you guys are, you know? I want to be able to keep that between just me and you. I'm a Taurus. My birthday is May 5th. And Yes, I could be pretty stubborn. I could say that. Overall, I'm a really kind-hearted person. I am. Let's see, what kind of music do I like listening to? I absolutely love. I love Miguel. Something about Miguel that just likes, ooh. I love him, I love him. I would love to meet him one day. I would love to meet Miguel one day. Just to meet him, you know, honestly, and just to tell him how much his music just really means a lot to me. Like, it means the world to me. I love his music with like my whole heart. <laughs> and I love J. Cole. For one, he's very attractive. But also because he's intelligent. And I, I love that. Like intelligence is so it's such a turn on, you know? So I love the fact that he's he's intelligent and he's woke about life. 
and plus he just makes bomb music too for that. I love Sweetie. I gotta say I'm an icy girl. Here, boo. It's me saying the city girls quote, but I'm an icy girl. Not saying that I don't like the city girls, because city girls, you know, y'all my girls. But I love Sweetie because she all about her bag. Like, and that's how I am. Honestly, I'm all about my bag. I, I understand, like, you know, if a guy got his money, you know, let's spend his money. I'm down for that too. But I want my bag at the end of the day. Because if anybody tells me no, I want to know that I can go and get it myself. I don't need you to go get it for me. So they always come back, even when you stop talking to them, they still there at the end of the day. Two years from now, three days from now, they still right there waiting on me. So, but my main concern is my bag. I love watching her interviews. I love learning the fact that she manifested her whole career and I'm all into manifestation, okay? I'm definitely an icy girl. Cause I'm icy, wifey, haters wanna fight me. I enjoy a good meditation, since we're talking about manifesting. I enjoy a good meditation. Like, sometimes you have to realize, like, to just take a, a breath, you know, get a, get out of your head, get out of this world sometimes, get out of the stress, get out of the reality, and just meditate, think, plan out, and just overall reevaluate yourself, reevaluate your life, and just spend some time with yourself. So many people, I think, are so afraid to be alone and it's just like, it's nothing wrong with that. Even if I was in a relationship, I'm not in a relationship by the way, just in case you guys are wondering that. I'm single AF and I'm loving it. Just because I say, oh, I want some time alone, doesn't mean that like, I don't wanna be with you. Once again, it goes back to not making everything about you. It's about me. And if I don't wanna spend any time with you right now because I wanna spend time with myself, Give me that. I'm an awesome person. So if you want to spend time with me, and this person want to spend time with me, and everybody else want to spend time with me, don't you think I want to spend time with me too? <laughs> Cause I'm lit. <laughs> so yes, I want to spend time with me. I love to clear out any negative energy that might be around. Cause I don't do negative baby. And whether that's you're a friend or a family member or anything like that, if I feel like you're providing negativity to my life, Guaranteed you probably won't be in my life for long. I got into makeup after I graduated high school. After I graduated high school, I went to modeling school actually. I went to John Casablanca. And I was into modeling actually. And I remember being a model and you end up with these makeup artists who don't know how to do makeup. And you're just like, ugh. Yeah, I went, I got tired of going to like these makeup artists who didn't know how to do makeup. So I just got into doing my own makeup. And then I realized like, I was like, oh hey, Bianca, you're actually pretty good at this. And then I wanted to go to school for it, but I felt like school was gonna be so expensive. I remember going to one beauty school and they were like, yeah, you know, you're going to have to get a loan and your mom's going to have to get a loan. I was like, the last thing I want to do is to have my mom get in a loan. Like, oh no. So I was like, never mind. And I just went to YouTube and I just started watching videos and just kept going. Some other questions that I Googled. <laughs> what motivates you to work hard? Something that motivates me to work hard is, honestly, my loved ones. I am such a giving person. The fact that if I had enough finances to honestly take care of my loved ones or to help them, you know, start a business or something, that is what I would, that's, that, that's what motivates me. Being able to take care of my mom and my dad, not that they need to be taken care of, but I want to be able to provide for them the way they provided for me. I think that's just something everybody wants to do. But I want to be able to provide back for my mom and my dad and give them the life that they couldn't have because of the generation that they were born in. They weren't given the opportunity that I have to be able to just give my own self the knowledge that I probably wouldn't even been taught if it wasn't for internet and YouTube and Google. I, would, I probably wouldn't even know the things that I know now. 
anybody or friends, anybody that I truly love, and if I believe in what it is that you want to do, and if I know you're doing it because you want to be better, or if you're doing it because you want to succeed, I will do it. If you just want money, just want money, I ain't the one. <laughs> Um, what is your favorite thing about your career? Not having an answer to no one else but myself. Having like an office job and having an answer to a boss and having an answer to your supervisor. Like, I knew none of that was for me. That wasn't, that wasn't for me at all. And I did it before. For me, it just wasn't hitting. I was getting so bored. I would be so depressed driving the same route to and from, working the same days, not being able to pick my own shift because, you know, seniority, or who was working there longer than you, so you were at the bottom of the totem pole, and I just wasn't here for none of that. I just was like, I can't, I can't. Um, what makes you laugh the most? What makes me laugh the most is my cousin, Shanae. <laughs> she made me laugh so much. She do. Um, my friend Isaac, he makes me laugh too much. I be thinking one day I ain't gonna be able to make it. My brother made me laugh too. I just there's not a certain thing you gotta do to make me laugh. I'm not gonna lot of stuff though. Honestly, if you mess up on a word, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> Don't mess up on a word around me, because I'm gonna laugh. But there's a couple of things that kind of make me laugh. 